Hanging out with Brian and Aaron right now from the Gemini Syndrome. It's FanFest.tv and uh, it's Rock and the Range 2014. Guys, it's good to see you, man. Like, you know, here's the crazy thing. I gotta ask you because you know when you know friends and I mean, like, you know, we, we, where do we hang before? Whatever. You and I met in LA once, right? I believe so. Well, you were in oh, Chicago, so you're from there, right? I'm from Chicago. So, I might have met you in Chicago. I can't, I can't place it. I can't remember. I can't, yeah. Yeah. How about yourself? Where are you from? Denver. Denver, Denver that's yeah. cool. You know, it's amazing. Denver it was uh, one of the craziest things ever in my life happened while I was shooting a pilot for a TV show. In Denver, at the big Comcast building there, yeah, yeah. and an amazing, really nice guy. He was running a gym. Fell over and died while we were shooting. It. And it freaked me out. And we tried to revive him, and I was call or calling 911. And the combat was so big that the EMS people couldn't find where you were. Oh, there he is. Not we'll to get all gnarly and down. And shit. <laughs> you know, but I, but I just thought, fuck. But I do love Denver. A lot of great people. Got a lot of friends there. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. What bands do you like from there? Is there any bands you like from there at all? Right now? Yeah. Um, I have you a friend. You know Nate from like The Wheel and Born in the Flood and any of those dudes? No, it was more yeah. like uh, like when I was there, it was like uh, uh, Suffocate. Oh, and, I like those uh, And Farce was yeah. my band. So you're there. rockers. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know what you love. So I have a friend's band there in Glass Delirium. They kind of run the Denver scene. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. Denver's a cool place, man. People don't always get that. They don't understand. I mean, I think people do get it, and then they don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I love that. I yeah, really Denver's do. good, man. I love going out and hanging out with the musicians there. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a play. Like, where? Where'd you, where'd you grow up? Are you in Chicago? Like, uh, was outside that, was, Chicago. Was like, Aurora. Aurora, you know, Peoria, Liberty yeah. Liberty yeah. Libertyville, you know we yeah. know it all very well, right? You yeah. know? Mostly yeah. home, man. So what was, for you listening to radio growing up, what were you we listening to? Uh, you know, when I started getting into rock, it was you know, the grunge scene, Soundgarden, Nirvana. See, Alice I love hearing that. You know that's my shit. That you know that's into, my stuff. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, that led into, you know, the Pantera, Fear Factory, Typo Negative. Um, I was a Pumpkins fan. I'm glad you said that because good Illinois Chicago band who I love and you know I mean, Billy's, they're, they're a, Billy's a, a brother to me so you yeah, know they're a staple yeah. Yeah. I love them dude. Yeah. Billy and I were joking around we're like we're gonna do a radio show two bald guys we're fucking around and seriously we're kidding about we were actually considering it a couple of years but more because I was doing all the reissues and doing all the radio specials for it but I love it so, love Cheap Trick I mean I love you know what I mean yeah. so you can say but uh so tell me, I mean, you guys, I know about all the symbols and the stuff that you guys do. See that? As a guy who loves music, and you always want to associate, if you love a band, with like symbols, imagery, certain things, you know? And uh, tell me a bit about that and where it comes from for you guys. I think with symbolism is basically the oldest form of human communication as far as a written medium, you know what I mean? So not only to have the music itself, you have the sonic information, but you want to associate that with something visual so it attacks you on more than one level and associates everything together. I love that. There are a lot of really, really old, powerful symbols like the, the dot and the triangle is ancient, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think those are embedded in people's subconscious to a point where when we were able to incorporate it into the music, it just makes it resonate on a very subconscious level. I think it's very cool. And I think, you know, also, you know, it's also something they can gravitate to make their own. Like, uh, you know, I don't stamp people with it, but it, have you had any fans yet that tattooed the same symbols? Oh, a bunch of people. Bunch They're going to love it. Talk one. to me, man. That's fantastic. Let's, uh, the Gemini logo, so it's duality. And I'm a Gemini, by the way, too. Very nice. May 28th. <laughs> it's an infinity symbol or a DNA strand. A syndrome is a collection of traits or qualities. Yeah. So it's really just trying to bridge the gap between all that shit that's in between. Yeah. So what are your oldest tattoos and the most recent? You guys gotta tell me. My oldest tattoo is a cross on this arm. Cool. And my most recent is this monstrosity. Turn out, man, I wanna see it. <laughs> that looks pretty badass. Let's shoot this, come on, guys. Well, that's pretty badass. And I love it, because it kind of... 
we, we resemble each other, at least in the head side. <laughs> no, but it's beautiful, though, honestly. It's a Thanks, really man. super powerful, cool thing, you know? I love symbolism. You know, in bands and just in, in history, it's a very important thing. You know what I mean? It's things you remember. Who are your two best favorite bands? Who do you love? Over the last thing, I mean, we mentioned, I mean, we mentioned the Grunge thing, but anybody you loved in the last 10 years do you think is really great? Uh, the last 10 years, really big into Carnival, Porcupine Tree, Catatonia. Porcupine Tree, Stupid Dreams, one of my favorite oh, records. So <laughs> good. Dude, so that's good. my favorite record. It's a masterpiece. Ever. Pure narcotic, even after all those songs. Yeah. I try to turn so many fucking people on that man. I'm like, dude, you have to hear this. They're man, they're man. Stephen Wilson. Stephen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, man. Stephen Wilson's incredible. He's like, he's, he's like, like the new Prague. He's like the Prague guy from England. Now he's doing, what yeah. he, you know what I mean? He's, yeah. I love those records, man. Light bulb, light bulb, sun, all, those, all that stuff. The incident. Yeah. In Absinthia, they're I mean, Yeah. You know, piano lessons. All that stuff. Remember that? Yeah. I listen. Discovered them. With the, Stupid Dream, and I love that record so fucking much. I would listen to it and burn it for people like, you got to check out this fucking yep. incredible band. And uh, some the people that got it loved it. The ones that didn't, and I was just... They didn't get but it. it. But isn't music always a thing? It's like, it's not really, it's not about being divisive, but you always know, like, when you when you get into something, even as we were kids, right? You're into one thing, you change, you know, it's so much you love. And then you kind of like your friends, the ones who kind of get what you're into. You're like, cool, Absolutely. now that we're going there. And you know, they're like, okay, cool. Absolutely. You know? But where you go musically, spiritually with music, the things you love, you know, take a different turn, meet different people, and it, and it changes the way you view things, you know, which is fantastic. You know? Have you met Steven Wilson? I haven't. No, I'd love to. You need a tour with him somewhere. Sign me up. <laughs> you know, Sign me up, dude. You know, I love that guy. So good. You know, it's funny because my friend, one of my friends, signed him in America, and it was because he'd already signed an artist that made like 10 million sales. So he's like, the label let him know, like, well, let me do this because, because you like, because he and I probably love all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all cool bands, you know. So, my, it's my my favorite genre, probably. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of which, we talk about symbolism. I, I signed Cody and Cambria yeah. to a Columbia, and I still owe them. People don't notice I have no tattoos. People are always like, you have no tattoos? My girlfriend has tattoos everywhere. But I was so, but I promised Cody and said, I'm gonna honor this, that if, in keeping secrets of Silent Earth 3 and Good Apollo, the record I made, went to, with them, with them, they made it. The band makes it, but you know what I mean. Um, but gold, I would put the dragonfly on my fucking calf. And you know, the key, their other key symbol they have too, and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking do that. It doesn't matter that, you know, I don't work at Columbia anymore, but I love them as brothers. I love music, and I love the fact when bands can use symbolism to do things, and it's very really cool. Favorite prog records of all time, you gotta tell me. Favorite prog records? Yeah, yeah. Night is the New Day, yeah. or Catatonia. Yeah. Um, and I love Catatonia, by the way. My arms Talk are about hers. a band that's totally underrated oh, and people don't get. So good. And there's two Catatonias. There was the one that like did Mulder and Scully from like England, but the other Catatonia with a K yep. is the great one. Yep. <laughs> uh, my Not arms are hers. Yeah. 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 yeah, great. My arms are hers. Oh, Beth. Awesome. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, if I had to pick a Porcupine record, Ooh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I use stupid dream, and it's. Stupid, stupid because, Dream, I listen to it when I'm in a good mood. Yeah. I listen to it like other ones. It's because it's the first one I heard by him, so I love it. Of you course. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You it know, always like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, what other ones? Oh, I was going to go New School. I would go Textures. Yeah. And textures if I was going to go great. Old School, I'd just have to just go Dream Theater. I'd have to do it. Great, yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I love so many records. It's so funny because, you know, I'll walk into like a Barnes & Noble. I got my 10% discount card I paid for, man, to buy books and magazines. And I'll buy the prog rock, the classic rock, the uncut, the magnet metal. I just, you know, every magazine. And, I, and it's, it's funny because sometimes I'll read articles and I'll, the bands have told me better stories than they have in here. You know what I mean? But because you guys have heavier stuff, what the first concert you ever saw? I love Cool Jam. It's, it's a 
Yes, he's Mama said knock you out, Tor. Dude, that's what I'm <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. Right? Dude, I love that song, dude. That's what, that's a bit of shit. Yeah. I love that. Right? And then years later, Aaron goes on stage with Ivan and does it on, uh, with, uh, Do Fire you do it, Fire? Fire? Yeah. You did Mama said knock you out? I did Tech Nine's part. Yeah. Why the fuck did I miss that? That was awesome, dude. What an honor, man. Oh, and I love Ivan so much. Dude, how the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> Don't you ever, ever pull my lever. <laughs> oh, dude, I love that record. And I've done a lot of work, you know, with LL and shit, and it's just like, you know, he's a man, I should get fucked with that. You know what I mean? It's great stuff. You know? Love that record. Because it was not like this. Me and uh, Russell, um, God, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking tired. 37 interviews in three days, <laughs> but I'm happy as shit. <laughs> You know what? I, I told my girlfriend, you guys love this? I go, I'm not going to eat any of my protein because I'll pass the fuck out. <laughs> but I love meeting you guys, man. I, and I love you, New Record Man. And, and I'm so psyched that you're Porcupine you know, Tree fans and I get to hang with you. All right, last question. First concert you ever saw? First concert? Yeah. LL Cool J. I just asked you. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> now you know I'm fucking tired. First record you bought with your own money. Wow. Rage Against the Machine. And I love. Yes. Take, I'll take that. Know Your Enemy. Yeah. Bomb tracks. Great classic comic. I think the first one I ever bought with my own money was My Arms, Your Hearse. By Oprah. Great record. Yep. Great band and they're really cool people. Yeah. Super sweet. Guys, thanks for doing this. Thank you. I'm uh, ready, ready to pass out, but I'm staying till the end of the three day festival. <laughs> Danny Glover, you said it years ago, he goes, fuck, I'm too old for this shit, but I'm not. I'm never too old for music, because I love music so much. FanBass.tv is real, because you know how we're hanging out? FanBass is about, actually, instead of like the same old interview, FanBass is about actually hanging out, talking about records you love, things you love, shows you saw. That's what your fans really want to see. You know what I mean, man? I think it's super cool. So, love you and thank you so much. All right, guys. Cool. Guys, thanks for being super cool. Yeah, it's awesome to have you guys.